Three forces F1, F2 and F3 acting on a particle P are given by F1 equals 7i minus 9j, F2 is equal to 5i plus 6j, and F3 equals Pi plus Qj, where P and Q are constants. Given that P is in equilibrium, find the value of P and the value of Q. The force F3 is now removed. The resultant of F1 and F2 is R. Find the magnitude of R, the angle to the nearest degree that the direction of R makes with J. So that's the question then. I've summarized it here. So find P and Q. We know that this is in equilibrium, the resultant force in this case. So let's have a go at that then. So here, let's add up the I com components. 7 plus 5 plus P uh, in the I direction is the resultant force in that direction. Plus minus 9 plus 6 uh, plus Q J and that resultant force is in is zero because it's in equilibrium. So that tells us what P is. P must equal minus twelve for this to be zero. And Q this is minus three, so Q must be three for this to be zero. Okay, that's part A. F three is now removed. Find the magnitude of the resultant force R. Well, since I've got it here, I'll just use the digital pen and I'll, I'll insert part B in here. The resultant force then, if there's no F3, is 7 plus 5 is 12i. And minus 9 plus 6j is minus 3j. So um, that's the resultant force then. So the magnitude of the vector R then is equal to the square root of these two things squared. 12 squared plus uh, 3 squared. And we need to tap that in the calculator. 144 plus 9. 144 plus 9 equals 153. So square root of 153, the answer, is 3 root 17. Newton. So we can leave it in third form if we wish. Okay, the angle R makes with J is what we need to find out finally then. Well, here's our R vector. Okay, so remember the dot product draw A dot B is equal to A B cosine of the angle between the two vectors A and B. So this rule then, dot product rule gives um, we'll use R, B is J, A is R, so 12 minus 3J then, 12I minus 3J is the R, dot with J is equal to the modulus of this, which was 3 root 17, times 1, because the modulus of J is 1, cosine of the angle between that tells us then cosine theta is equal to 12 times no i's is 0 minus 3 times a j uh, minus 3 times 1 is minus 3 and then move the 3 root 17 down because it's negative if you think about it but dealing with an angle that's either acute or obtuse aren't we in this case so because it's negative is going to be in here so let's do shift cosine. It's in the second quadrant. 90 between 90 and 180. So let's just do shift cos of this value. Inverse cos then. Of um, Let's put the minus in. See what comes out. Divided by bracket 3 times root 17. Outside the square root. Close the bracket. And then close the cosine inverse cos bracket equals... 104, and to the nearest degree, it's 0, 0.0, so it is 104 degrees.